right, who we got here? We've got Adrian here. Hello, hello. We've got Tony. Hey, mate. We come bearing a gifts. Bunch of fish. Oh my gosh. How'd you like them? Let's just put them on the floor and I guess right. we'll close the door and start looking at them, hey? For sure. All right, oh my gosh. By the way, guys, you haven't met Tony yet. You're going to meet Tony very, very soon. Tony and AB are both real good friends and they both breed a bunch of fish, but oh my gosh, I was not expecting. And the driftwood. All right. Sweet. Well, what do you reckon? You want to just start yeah. going through and showing us? Yeah, yeah, cool. All right. Got down here. So they're the mixed guppies. So these are just... Uh, they're all, yeah, just bred from, I say mixed, but the reality is, is that they've come from pure line strains originally. And I've just sort of, as I've culled them, put them into different sorts into one tank and then they've actually produced these guys. But there's a few here you'll see the females are actually black and they've got blue and yellow tails, which is a bit interesting. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they'll colour up really good once you get them in your tanks, of course. Not for sure. All right. Just, yeah, we'll just put it all here and then... We'll, uh, yeah. oh, we'll put them over there. So we <laughs> we'll know. make sure to unbox them before we start talking and talking. Yep. Okay. In this one... There's some large, just common plecos. Oh, I've um, got someone looking for these. Great. Well, there's three pairs. So I've got three boys and three girls for you. Perfect. They're ready to breed right now, those guys. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. So the adult ones. What else have we got? <clears throat> oh, yeah, this is interesting. The, um, I don't know how, how many have moved, but these are all the, the mystery snails, all the different colours, and I've got different sizes. And, oh, my goodness. Um, so, yeah, there's... Everything from this is a rose gold with a purple foot. Oh, she's just closed the thing up there. You might be able to see there the, the purple or the foot, it's called this bit here, is actually um, purple and it gets quite fluorescent purple. These guys are the extra large ones going down from, you know, to large, medium. He might be a caramel snail actually. So they've got the, what they call the tortoise shell and they're white, on, it's a white foot. And you see, mostly you see the gold ones with a white foot. This is a caramel shell with a white foot. And then this guy here is a similar sort of shell, the tortoise shell or the dark shell, but it's actually got a black foot as well. Now these guys, if you look really, really carefully, you won't see them now, but when they're happy in your tank, they'll have little fluorescent orange spots all over the black foot. With bringing in mysteries, so you bring them mm -hmm. in like this every time, do you have a way of like acclimating them in to the tank? Just like fish. So treat okay. them like fish, temperature-wise, water-wise. So these have come, they're, they're way easier if they've been out of water like this. So I used to, I transport them, I ship them, have done this way, but usually in smaller containers and more tightly packed so they don't move around. But once they've been out of water, then you can pretty much just drop them into any tank water. If they come in water, acclimate them as you would normally do with fish because it's a, it's a genuine change of environment. At the moment, those guys will just be really keen to get into any tank with water. The best way to sex them is the males will generally, and it's a general rule obviously, stay in the bottom of the tank, but only the girls will go to the top of the tank and then come out of the water. So if they're out of the water, they're almost guaranteed to be females. Righto. Yep, perfect. What do we got here? You'll like this one. So this is Tony's. Oh, the females. Uh, the females. There's 11 uh, orange flash in there. Can I please put it down there? I might be able to stabilize yeah, yeah, it yeah. better. Oh man. Yeah, I need some of these hay yeah, for my here breeding. In, here in Australia, rare, huh? Getting uh, yeah, orange flesh females. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. You can't see them that well, but no. we'll get some B-roll <coughs> later. the tank? Definitely. Cheers. So I've got six of my neon blue Acaras. I've got them in two bags. There's basically one pair and a spare in there. So I'm not sure if the spare is a boy or a girl. You might end up with another pair there, but I've, I've tried to get them so you've got at least one guaranteed pair. You might want to sell them as a trio even, but again, they'll colour up way different once they... Uh... Yeah, these have been so popular as well. They'll be even more popular now that they're local bred ones. So. Yeah, yeah, and I've got a new spawn coming through. I think Tony said today he's got another one coming yeah. through as well. So, Oh, wow. <laughs> these are Tony's. So there's actually 30 koi guppies in there. More females so than boys. The Thank females, you. Mate. Yes. They breed a lot of females. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah. Which is again great because you, you get tons of males, but yeah, yeah. So that's oh, another wow. good bag. That's actually really they're, good quality, they're, they're beautiful quality. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. Oh, much better than anything. You can I'm get still in I'm still waiting to get a pair of them myself. Uh, that's the other pair of the neon blue Acaras oh, yeah. in there. That one's got a mustache. That'll uh, be that's the boy, cool. obviously. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. What else do we got? Oh yeah, this is the 24 karat gold guppies. So there's a trio in there for you. Oh, perfect. A really nice male and two really nice young females. They're both pregnant, by the way. So I thought so you'd you want me to bring them in there. Yep. All right. Um, I checked online and uh, they're still 75 bucks a trio to get them online right now. So 
Um, I figured I'd get you uh, some breeding stock. That Only much? 75 a trio, yeah. Yep. People probably can't keep them alive because the imported ones are so bad. Yeah, they're probably five or six generations through now at least, maybe more than that. What else have we got? Tony fishing away for something over here. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so we got, there's 50 of the Firetail Endless. Oh uh, yeah. That I've got there. Yeah, yeah. Boys, girls and... We'll get a better look at these later. They're yeah, too, once they're, they're in too, there, yeah. the colours all come back on the boys. And then, I'm still not sure how to say this, but it's the, it's, I want to say the J is silent, but it's Nicenni. Nicenni. <laughs> you're the fish shop guy. You're, I, I, <laughs> you're asking me, I don't know. Yeah. Now, I'm, the Jess and I, I don't we know. We were trying to do this on the way, and we were yeah. forgetting about the J. I love them so much. They're hiding in the, uh, in the in the tang in there I've got for you. But the um, there's at least, so there's eight in there, there's at least three boys and three girls and two I'm not sure of. All right. And then just some driftwood we got out out of the creek in bits and pieces. So it's Legally. Something... Yeah, it's my <laughs> creek. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Since the floods, it just washes up and we've got to remove it, etc. And I've got tons of it. And this is good because it won't leach heaps of tannin? No, so they're already pre-soaked so bits and pieces. Soaked. But I've got, you know, multiple things. And again, if, even if you, um, if they, like for example, you didn't want to sell that bit, that's, you can drop it into your tank for your, you know, your L numbers to eat in bits and pieces. And So yep, there's some driftwood there for you as well. Oh, perfect. So that's our, that's it. That's our stock. That's a today. lot of stuff. Thank you so much. No, all good, man. So here we got the koi guppies. All right, here we go. Well, which one should we put these in? Maybe here. Tony, these, these are yours, right? Yes. These are so good, man. What's the way you um, breed them? I have them as five trios, and I have them in a little two by two by two with a lot of duckweed, a lot of places for them to hide. Just let them naturally do their thing. So you don't strip them or anything, you just let them go? And you just let them go, the one. babies within them. Yeah. As they start to grow and get a little bit bigger, I then move them to a bottom tank underneath them. I just use a guppy net. Yeah. I just hand pick them out, the bigger ones, and just keep on going and then just keep bringing them up within the mum and the dad. All right, I'll do that with the 24 carats. All right, so we'll bring them over. I reckon we'll go in here. So I'm literally just going to try and knock it duckweed. Do this. And start looking at them. Oh, they're awesome. And you know, like Nick in a few of these, you still have to pick the better ones out of them all. Generally, yeah. they all seem to be good. But, you know, it's like anything. You just hand pick the better quality ones out of them. Look at this. Right. A beautiful little fish. We'll just get the duckweed out later. Have you got a little shrimp now? I'll get that off. You guys all get right, the let's go next one. I'll get the duckweed off the top. So next up we've got the mixed guppies. So these are just Adrian's culls almost, but they're just a assorted guppy now. Yep. Jeez, they're not beautiful colours, aren't they? Oh yeah. Have a look at them. I will eat the plant in there too. That'd be alright. Yeah, there's so many that angels don't know what to do. <laughs> but they're gone now, so. That's awesome, isn't it? They are so good. Pretty, aren't they? Give me these, yeah. Take some. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to hit the guy up who breeds them. <laughs> Keen to keep a pair of these. All right. These are so good. And put them in here where the uh, other pistos were. In you go. So you guys also might be wondering why aren't we quarantining these fish and. It's not essential for us to quarantine locally bred stuff sometimes. Like most of the stuff that is locally bred, if it wasn't from Tony or Adrian, I would quarantine it still. Like I've been in their rooms and I've seen their fish and there's nothing to be worried about with these guys. They've essentially been quarantined for the last two years. So. <laughs> there they go. I'm really happy with the way these guys have sort of coloured up. And oh man, well. yeah. And they're so big. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Go. Okay. Get this out of here. Oh man, they're big. Awesome. There's the one with the mustache. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What else do we have? Uh, endless guppies. Oh, yep, endless. Perfect. Done. I always stick extra in, especially for those guys. So it says fifty. There's probably sixty in there. Oh, sweet. Thanks. 
always try to put a couple of extra in every time just in case there's ever something. So these are Adrian's special lines, so. Are they beautiful? All right, and then the uh, Epistos. Yeah. Bring oh. these over. Flashes. Man. Oh, they're going to be awesome. Yeah, that's great. Oh, I'm so keen to try and breed them, man. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Get my fish now. Sorry? Get yeah, yeah, we'll get your stuff now, I guess. We can add this to the video. Yeah, I want that beta. Alrighty. All yours. I really like that. Um, I might breed them, so just yeah, maybe really, wait. Really yeah. Really and Adrian's taken home a new friend as well, so. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us Tony. <laughs> Tony's got his fish somewhere. I've got more in me back yeah. Thanks so much, guys. Like, seriously. No, 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 we no. love it, mate. Yeah, no, it's good. You. Thank you, buddy. All right. Yeah, no, it's been great, man. Yeah. And yeah, watch for the tour. Yeah. We'll go around to all the tanks and look at them all. Adrian's fish are here this weekend, so if you're in Brisbane, you want to come buy them, and Tony's fish as well. Yeah, come check it out. It's heaps of new stuff now, so anyways, there's that one. You're a good man. Cheers. All right, Thank sweet. You. Thanks, guys. See ya. Thank you. Bye.